What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news that happened in the scale world of RC over the last week. Post updates every Tuesday. This week, small handful of topics, but we'll jump right into them. Several months ago, I had seen some teases from Traction Hobbies about a larger scale trophy truck style rig, solid rear axle independent front. And it looked very similar to something like the Losi Super Baja Ray. And it looks like I'm seeing that almost exact same model from multiple different companies now. It looks very much like the Super Baja Ray underneath. It's showing up from King Motors, who's kind of notorious for knocking off the HPI 5B. And I've seen it from a company called 30 Degrees North here recently. So it looks like a total of three companies now who are offering this vehicle out, but I haven't actually seen it available from any of them. The pricing that I've seen on these so far looks to be around that $800 range, which isn't much less than the actual Losi Super Baja Ray, which you know is going to have better parts support at least than any of these. So, so it's an interesting move from that side. We'll have to see how similar they really are. It's hard to tell if these are a clone of any sort yet or if they just have that very similar styling. Next is a story from Kyosho, and that is that they're releasing a Rampage Pro version. Now, I actually saw this at the Nurses show last year, and it looked pretty good in person. This one is going to be an almost ready to run version. It comes 80% pre-assembled if you look at the text or 70% pre-assembled if you look at their promotional video. It, not sure which one. Either way, looks like it's gonna be mostly ready to go. You gotta add some of your own electronics. Now, this vehicle looks nice in scale with independent front and solid axle rear, except that the solid axle rear is actually a motor on axle solid axle rear suspension. But this one adds some scale tube work in the back and just a cool styled body. If you've never seen the Rampage or possibly was interested in one, now we've got another version, this one with a better looking body than the last version and I think it might just be the paint job on this one that makes it look so much better. Where on the last one, they tried to go with like a retro style paint scheme and it just didn't look very good. This one definitely looks much better in photos and video. If you're interested, I'll put any of the information that I can find in the description below. RC 4 Wheel Drive has got some sort of announcement coming this following week. They've been teasing on Instagram and social media that they've got a live Facebook video coming on Wednesday for some sort of announcement. They've got, they've got kind of a cartoony looking TF2 as the post, so not sure what we're going to see. But if you're interested in something like that, possibly, maybe, Check it out. Last week, Matt from the Scale Builders Guild and myself both put out Traxxas TRX for unassembled kit videos. And in that, we also announced that it will be the subject of our next budget build. If you're not familiar with the budget builds, they're a series where we release a video every Wednesday with $50 worth of upgrades and we go for weeks and weeks on end. The series aren't meant to be building the cheapest truck, they're just setting that budget and upgrading on that path. So look forward to that in the coming weeks. However, first, before the budget build starts, the next Monthly Mayhem is going to start. Monthly Mayhem is going to start on April 10th, so just a little bit over a week before we actually hit that. This one's going to be a lot of fun, really looking forward to announcing it and starting working on it. So that one, again, April 10th will be the first video, two videos a week on Monthly Mayhem. Video releases every Wednesday and vlog updates every Friday. And of course, I'm filming this on April Fool's Day, and there was a couple of decent RC-related April Fool's jokes that I saw Proline had one where they announced their first full-size tire, their new Hyrax. That one, they did a pretty good job on the Photoshop work. I, I was not, not too disappointed. Next, I saw some Tamiya Bravery pills posted on someone's. I didn't actually see it on Tamiya's page. I saw it on someone else's page that they'd shared. Not sure who made that or where it came from, but definitely still a good laugh. And lastly, I saw Traxxas post the off-road 4Tech version. Also, pretty decent job on the Photoshop work. So. Those are the only few that I saw. I was hoping to see more. They're always entertaining. I was prepared for them this year. I remembered what day it was before my day even kicked off. So none of those caught me by surprise this year, but you never know, it's always a chance. But that's gonna do it for this week's news. Also remember, I do have Scale News Update shirts if you would so like to support the Scale News Update. But regardless, thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see them as soon as they pop up. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have an awesome week and we'll see you on the next one.